As designers, one of the toughest things for us to do is to brand our own studio, our own agency, our own freelance. And in this video, I want to show you an example of a studio that done a really, really great job. I think you'll learn a lot from it. Let's go. Everybody. On today's episode, I want to cover the branding of Radicals Studio. But first, let's start with a story. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Poland, Warsaw for Element Talks, where I gave a talk. And I've met some of the other um, people in the conference. And one of them, uh, she gave me actually a gift. She gave me these deck of cards of playing cards which um, basically she told me this is really good for this is really awesome for uh, client sessions those are they kind of describe all kinds of trends technology trends or other trends that are happening in the world right now and uh, you can play this with them and get some innovation uh, innovative ideas and uh, kind of run this will help you facilitate uh, workshops with them and this is really cool so I took this first thing I was like oh Oh, this is a really cool design looks really really well and then so I was playing around with this and, and looking over this and I was like I want who did this why did they do this and so I kind of researched them went into their website and actually I was basically blown away from the studio that they've created and I'm gonna show you their website in a second and we're gonna cover it but I'm not only talking about the visual aspects of it even though we're gonna cover the visual aspect this the kind of the story the positioning and the real brand that they've created and creating these future deck cards is just one of the brand actions that they did which I think is brilliant so let's jump into their website cover their studio and then talk about why I think it's brilliant so basically this is their future making the change for the future so as you can see obviously they're very future oriented those cards are also called uh, future I'm scrolling down here radicals and then they have this I don't know if it's even Chinese or Japanese we're designing for the future we're only one studio that implements technologies to the human needs um, and then they're covering here what they're doing and then some of their projects and then yeah basically it's a studio website um, it looks pretty cool in terms of layout and color so let's let's talk about first of all let's cover the kind of like visual brand identity I know that's what you guys want to talk about so obviously the use of color this red and this highlighted green um, they make use of this all the time so obviously on these cards um, here but also in everything in the website uh, those colors are very prominent even in the project that they're doing and all the art direction the colors are really really uh, prominent and significant so that really creates kind of a visual trademark or uh, you know something very very memorable off the top which I think is really really cool so just excellent use of colors now even this use of Chinese uh, characters which I think I don't know why they did this but I think they're maybe they're trying to do something like the future is very related to Asia or something like that but it does kind of give it a little bit of a futuristic look you know even in all the the futuristic movies that we see everything looks like Hong Kong with those neon signs and those all so we do associate a little bit of Asia I guess with the future with how the technology future looks like so I think this is a really smart and, and great way to create a brand that is focused on the future so this is in terms of kind of like the the brand identity I would say but look at how they're positioning them to themselves and everything that they're talking about we're designing for the future so they've really worked hard on creating a niche for themselves and a unique value proposition which I think not a lot of studios or agencies or freelancing or of freelancers bother to do everybody is like yes we are creatives we are focused on user centric design or whatever everybody's basically saying the same thing and they're not saying how they're different and these guys they've chose the story of the future we're gonna help you survive in the future we're gonna help you thrive in the future we're future oriented they took the story and they went all the way with the story again those cards future cards 
I think this is brilliant. Even making those cards and kind of sharing their story. Like I've got maybe like a gazillion business cards from people. I always throw them away. I never end up getting to their, their, you know, to their website, but creating something that is different, like a beautiful, unique deck of cards, you get home with this and you actually take a look at this and you want to learn who they are. So this is another kind of like brand action that is related to what they're talking about. Those are future trends, things that are going to happen. This is a game that's going to help you succeed in the future. If you, you know, uh, use those trends and, and think about the, the future sustainable goals and all of that. So I think that not only visually do they create something that is very unique and beautiful and powerful, their story and their, the position that they're trying to take for themselves in the market is, I think, brilliant. So I think the the key takeaways here is when a lot of people, when they're trying to brand their own agency or studio, they're focused on the logo and how the website looks like. And this, it is important. And I've, I've, as I showed you in their website, I think their website is done really, really well in the sense of the, the use of color and layout and, and storytelling is helping them achieve their mission. But moreover, there's a story, there's a, a coherent value proposition and a position in the market, which is focus on the future. And I think that you should also be considering what is my story? What is my unique value proposition? Where am I totally and radically different than what everybody else is doing? Hope this was valuable for you for more videos about creatives, web design, graphic design, business of design. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.